is the notes for AP Calculus on the topic of solving differential equations for exponential and logarithmic functions are involved. So it says find the particular solution y equals f of x, so it's a function, to the given differential equation, so we're starting with the derivative, with this initial condition f of 2 is 0, which means you have the point 2 is 0 as a point on the original function. So we're basically trying to go from the derivative here back to the original equation. And the first thing we can do is separate the variables. So since the derivative is a fraction, you could cross multiply. But notice what that would give you is x cubed dy equals 2y minus 1 dx. It gets rid of the fractions, however, notice the x is on the wrong side, which should be with the x dx, and so is this y, it's into the 2y minus 1. So to separate them, we have to then divide by x cubed, and also divide by 2y minus 1. So now let's look at what we're left with here. So x cubes reduce out, so on this side we have 1 over 2y minus 1 dy, and on this side 2y minus 1 is reduced out, where we have <coughs> 1 over x cubed, which could be written as x to the negative 3 dx. Now the variables are actually separated, and once they're separated then what that allows you to do, remember? is we want to get back from the derivative back to the original equation, so that requires finding the antiderivative, integrating both sides. The right side is all set to integrate, but the left side, notice, is not. If this was just 1 over y, then we could integrate it. So here you actually have to use u substitution. That's a pretty simple one. You just set u equal to 2y minus 1, and then take the derivative of that, du dy, would be 2. So multiply both sides by dy, gives you 2 dy, equals du, and divide by 2, and end up with dy equals du over 2. And so then we can rewrite this as the integral of, now it's just going to be 1 over u, and then dy we can replace with du over 2. So then you can pull the 1 half on the outside, and you can either leave it as 1 over u, or you can write u to the negative 1. Either way, remember, that's not one you can use the power rule on. Because if you had u to the negative 1, you try to use the power rule for integration, that would be u to the 0 divided by 0. You can't divide by 0. Remember, this is the formula for that is involves a logarithm. One, integrate 1 over u, or u to the negative 1, gives you the natural log absolute value of u. But then we want it back in terms of the original variable. So we can substitute back in the 2y minus 1. So we end up with 1 half times the natural log absolute value of 2y minus 1. And then the right side, though, doesn't, there's just no function inside. This doesn't require u substitution. So we can just integrate it right away. When you integrate x to the negative 3, you get x to the negative 2 over negative 2. And then plus c. And if we simplify that, we get 1 over negative 2x squared plus c. But now, remember, is when we use our initial condition, in this case, 2, 0, we substitute that in for x and y. That allows us to solve for c. So when you do that, we'll have 1 half natural log absolute value of 2 times y is 0 minus 1 equals 1 over negative 2 times x, which is 2 squared plus c. So let's just move this up here as we simplify it. So now, let's see, we've got 1 half natural log absolute value, that's just 0, so it becomes negative 1, equals 2 squared is 4 times negative 2, negative 8, so that's negative 1 eighth, and then plus c. And then notice what happens, this absolute value changes this negative 1 to be a positive 1, so that's 1 half times the natural log of positive 1, so that's negative 1 eighth plus c. But the natural log of 1, that's saying e to what power? 
equals 1, because natural log is log base e, well, that would just be 0. So that's 0, that wipes out that whole side. So add the 1 8th, you get c equals positive 1 8. And now we can substitute that back in right here. So our equation we have now is 1 half times the natural log absolute value of 2y minus 1 equals 1 over negative 2x squared. And we just figured out c is positive 1 8. Now, if we want to solve, the last thing we have to do is isolate the variable that's on top of our derivative, in this case the y. You can see we want it y equals a function. So first you can multiply, get rid of this 1 half, isolate the natural log, multiply the whole equation by 2. And when you do that, then we have natural log, but that's the, sh the same as the log base e. And then we'll have the absolute value. 2y minus 1 equals, on this side when you multiply by 2, 2 is reduced out, so you just get negative 1 over x squared, and then 2 times 1 eighth is 1 fourth. And then to solve for the y, you'd have to switch this out of log form into exponential form to get that y outside the log. So the base is e, the exponent, and put in front of this is big exponent here would be negative 1 over x squared plus 1 fourth. And now would equal what's inside the log, the absolute value of 2y minus 1. And then to deal with that absolute value, what we have to look at is sometimes an absolute value has an effect and sometimes it doesn't. So in this case, if we look back Earlier in the problem, we can see the absolute value did have an effect because we had a negative number inside there, changed to positive. So the way we represent that it had an effect there, is it really the simplest mathematical way to go from a negative to a positive? Is it multiplies it by negative 1. So we represent that, okay, if it's absolute value, what it really did to this 2y minus 1 is it multiplied it by a negative 1 like that. And then, solve for y, you could distribute the negative, but I'm just going to multiply both sides of the equation by negative, so the negative would actually end up on this side. So it would be negative e to the negative 1 over x squared plus 1 fourth, all up in the exponent. And now, since we multiply the negative over here, now we just have 2y minus 1 over here. So. Then to solve for y, we would just add the 1. So now we'd have 1 minus e to the negative 1 over x squared plus 1 fourth equals 2y. And the last step, just divide by 2. So our final answer for the y would be y equals 1 minus e to the negative 1 over x squared plus 1 fourth all divided by 2. That would be our particular solution. All right, let's take a look at one more. On this next one, again, still trying to find the particular solution, still trying to eventually solve for y. This time our initial condition you can see is negative 2, 1, so that's the point that, that we know that's on the original function. Again, if we cross multiply, get rid of the fraction, just help us separate the variables, we get e to the 4y equals x plus 2, sorry, I forgot the dy, e to the 4y times dy equals x plus 2 times dx. But notice it's a little simpler in this case than the last one, because once we cross multiply, the y term is with the dy, x is with the dx, so the variable is already separated. So that allows us to integrate right away on this one. But notice again on the left side, if this was just e to the y, it would just integrate to be e to the y. But we've got this function inside there, so we have to use u substitution. So you'd set u equal to 4y, and then take the derivative, du dy equals 4. So dy would equal du over 4. And multiply by dy and divide by the 4. And that allows us to rewrite this as just e to the u. And then we can substitute in the du over 4 for the dy. 
Then you can pull out the constant of 1 fourth. And then you're left with just e to the u. u. So the constant just stays on the outside. And remember, when you integrate e to the u, just like e to the x, that just stays the same as e to the u. But then we need it back in terms of the original variable, so you can substitute the 4y back in there. So we have 1 fourth e to the 4y. And on the right side, that's going to be a lot simpler here. Don't need to use substitution. If this was like x plus 2 to the fifth or something, we would. But here, we can just integrate these separately since they're just added together. When you integrate x, you get x squared over 2. You find the antiderivative of 2, that's just 2x, and then we need plus c. Then we need to know what that constant is. So again, we can use our initial condition here. And substitute in for x and y. So I have 1 fourth e to the 4 times y is 1 equals x is negative 2. So that would be negative 2 squared over 2 plus 2 times negative 2 plus c. Now let's simplify this to help us solve for c. So that's just e to the 4th times 1 fourth, or you could write this e to the 4th over 4. Negative 2 squared is 4, divided by 2 is 2. 2 times negative 2, negative 4, plus c. Let's move it up here. So then we have e to the 4th over 4 equals 2 times 2 minus 4 is negative 2, plus c. And then just to add the 2, so c would equal e to the 4th over 4, plus 2. It looks a little weird, but remember, that's just a constant, because e is approximately 2.7 the fourth power over 4 plus 2. So then we can take that c value and substitute it in right here. So let's see what we have now. We've got 1 fourth e to the 4y equals x squared over 2 plus 2x, and then we just figured out c is e to the fourth over 4 plus 2. So now we want to solve it for y, but this time the y is up in the exponent. So the first thing we can do to eliminate this 1 fourth to isolate the e is to multiply the whole equation by 4. So that'll wipe out the 1 fourth, so we'll just end up with e to the 4y. Equals, multiply these by 4, so that's going to become 2 goes into 4 twice, so it becomes 2x squared plus 8x, here the 4's reduce out, plus e to the 4th, and then plus 8. This time, it's kind of the reverse of what we did on the previous problem. This time the y is up in the exponent, and it's already in exponential form, so this time to get the y of the exponent to help us solve it, we can try to switch it to log form. So in log form, it would be the log, the base would be e, Remember, the log equals the exponent, so that means this whole thing would go inside the logarithm. 2x squared plus 8x plus e to the 4th plus 8 equals the exponent, which is 4y. And then you would just solve for y by dividing by 4. So that's your answer, but usually it's not going to be written that way. Usually this whole thing over 4 would be written as a constant out in front, it's just 1 fourth. And usually log base e, remember the short way of writing that is natural log, so that usually be written in that form as the natural log of this whole thing 2x squared plus 8x plus e to the fourth plus 8. And that concludes the notes for AP Calculus on the topic of solving differential equations by separation of variables for exponential and logarithmic functions.